guys, I'm the ruler of the Dragon Kingdom, Dragon Snips, and today it's another drawing video, but it's not like sketch with me like I've done a few weeks ago. Oh, nope. wrong. Sometime back in November or October, I don't remember where I did it, last year. And last week I did a recording of the Una's Honor video with watercolors. This time, nice. or snack. Now, I did a description a while back. I no longer have the description of our snacks. I did get the second box, which I will be doing another video, which that will be a future video. But right now, we're going to be focusing on this video. I have, like, everything crossed out on its box. And yeah, it's light because I already opened it on, like, um, my camera, which is the camera that I'm using right now. But, let's go ahead and open this guy up, which I, because I opened it up in the past, and see what's inside. Hold on, before we get started with the video, once again, my fellow dragons, I need to remind you that my editing style is based on both Mariah Elizabeth and Graveyard Loon. Okay, now back to the video. So, let's bring out this description box to see what's inside this thing. Hello there. Also, when I open this box, I've already eaten the snack in this box because I was having a really bad day. But that's not all. Let's open this baby up and see what we got. I really love this bubble bag here. The only thing I don't like is the fact that I can't pop any of them. By the way, when I open this up, I put everything back in this box just to get this shot. No, that isn't a joke here. I just pulled out the bag full of our supplies and then pulled the box out of frame. Okay, I guess that was it. Placing the sketchbook down on the decks, opening it up, and I don't really have anything to say about the sketchbook. No, not like that! I'm not a fan of spiral bound sketchbooks anymore. I've wasted so many. I'm not even joking. Look at some of my old sketchbooks that I had when I was a kid. So why do I regret this betrayed and embarrassed? Back on track. I got bored with the sketchbook and move on with the art supplies. This isn't really much of an unboxing video if I've already opened the box. Already. Note card is kind of informational. It tells you how much some of the items are that come to the kit. And let's just move it to the side for now. But before we move on, look at these cards. Look at them. The moment this one on the left, we'll be back for him later. So here are the art supplies for the kit. Here this pretty cool sticker that came with the kit. Gotta add this to my sticker hoard. Then we got this paintbrush. By the way, this paintbrush is the reason why the card is important. Why is the paintbrush so freaking expensive? It's in the sketchbook. I'm not even joking. I tried to show you guys on camera on how this paintbrush is way more expensive than the sketchbook. But I really don't think you guys can see those texts, so here's a picture for ya. Okay, moving on. I went ahead and showcased the rest of the art supplies in the kit. Like this pencil kit from Faber Cascal. Then this colored pencil, guessing it's for more sketching than coloring. This brush pen, which I have like mixed feeling about it. We'll get onto this later in the video. And this gold ink that came with the kit. Don't really know why this ink is in the kit in the first place. I thought this was a pretty much of a sketching art supply kit. Like the pencil, the color pencil for the sketching, the brush pen, the sketchbook. But what is the ink for? I feel like I have something similar to this gold ink anyways. I checked out everything here and I got in the, from the kit. This feels nice and good quality to me. Still can't get over how expensive this paintbrush is. For one single paintbrush. Why is this thing so darn expensive? And this eraser. This eraser. It feels good. And it says leave no dust. Right. After staring at these guys for far too long. I needed to come up with an idea and fast. This is an art video after all. I opened the first page of the sketchbook and started getting to work. I wanted something to go with the art supply that came with the kit, so instead of something big or something I know already know of, I decided to sketch out my ideas. But first, let's test out the art supply. I wanted to see how each item worked with the paper to make kind of a plan on how I was going to use them all with the artwork. Also to see if the item still works and are not dull or useless, kind of, which they actually perform really good. I especially love this brush pen. The, ink, uh, the gold ink was pretty okay, and yeah, the brush is um, fine, I guess. The pencil is okay, and so is the color pencil. But I like them all. So once all of the items are tested out, it's time to move on to planning the artwork. I knew I wanted some sort of dragon, but at this time, I was also getting into snakes as well, so I decided to combine the two together. To get an idea of what I wanted for the artwork, I went ahead and drew out some thumbnails. But not only did I drew how I wanted the artwork to look like, I was drawing on how the dragon to look like as well. 
I went with the colored pencil for a while before moving on to the pencil from that small little pencil kit. I was still figuring out what the design of the dragon I wanted, and how I wanted the artwork to look. Then I decided to tell the gold ink would work for this moment, and this part gave me a bit of an idea on how I wanted the whole piece to look. I just added the gold to the background of the drawing first, but I will add the gold to other areas as well later on. Also, also, I went ahead to see how the brush pen could be used. I almost want to say that I would put this brush pen higher in my, like, favorite brush pen list, I guess, if you want to go with that. I even wanted to push it higher above one of my favorite brush pens that I've used for a very long time. Sorry, my brush pen. I don't mean to. It's now time to turn to a fresh page to start up the whole artwork. But beforehand, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be notified of upcoming videos. I grab a quick picture of, like, the dragon to use as reference, so that way I can start drawing it. I first start with a basic sketch with the dragon head first, and then for some reason, I went ahead and started adding the horns on top of the head, along with the ears as well for the creature. So I used the color pencil for this part before moving to the pencil. And with the color pencil, I like this color pencil. It's not great for coloring in the whole piece, but it's great for sketching. Once I was done with the sketching part, I moved to the pencil and added in a few details with the pencil. Before erasing the whole piece, I added a few more details on the dragon with the pencil. And then it was at this moment that I erased the whole, like, artwork and use my brush pen to add in the line art. Now I will say I'm not really used to the brush pen. I have used them in the past but really getting good with the brush pen is taking some time for me. But the line art did turn out pretty actually good for this one. I really like how the line art turned out in this artwork. Finally I grabbed out the gold ink to use in the background and a few other details on the dragon. The gold goes on the stomach, eyes, and a little bit on the ears. Also some of the markings on the forehead as well. The gold ink is fine. I don't really have a problem with it. It's the paintbrush. It felt a little bit flimsy to me, but then again, this is coming from a person who's been using cheap paintbrushes for her whole life. Once I added the gold to the creature, I colored her with the blue color pencil, the one that I used to sketch her out. Now I kind of wish I darkened the uh, blue area with the color pencil more. Put my name on it and also um, dated in this drawing is completely done. um the final result of this beauty right here i actually like how she turned out and i really like the gold i kind of wish i did like build in more with the blue with the color pencil but other than that i think she looks lovely back to the um brush pen that i use for this artwork not my favorite pen but i say that it did its job yeah although i still like the spectrum noir brush pen also the uh or this Japanese pen that I bought off of Amazon, still my favorite. But anyways, that's gonna be it for us today, guys. 
and I closed this up way wrong. Let me fix that. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. If you want to check out this video right here, go ahead and check it out. And don't forget to check this video out. This is last week's video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye, Jargons. Live it life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need.